Wolfman Lewis, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are, another episode of the LJ. My Rise, right here on WW2K23. Here's our girl, uh, LJ, aka Laura Jane. If you missed any of the other episodes of Vivigo on the channel, the playlist, it looks like we got three to talk to. Looks like Molly will advance the story. Uh, Mealy Fanny Fan is just due to whatever. Let's see what she has to say. So I was telling Natalia about how you really like baseball, and she said it wasn't nearly as good as hockey. Naturally, I told her that you thought she was an idiot. It was you that liked baseball and hated hockey, right? Either way, you really stepped in it this time. She's challenging you to a no-DQ match with baseball bats and hockey sticks. Sorry, Mealy. I'm not in the mood for that. What's Robin Ray got to say? I booked the new women's tag champs on my podcast and made a mistake mentioning that Shayna and Rhonda used some less than honorable techniques to obtain the titles. Rhonda threatened to make me tap out unless I agreed she could make you submit to her in the ring anytime she wanted. I feel like defending my honor and kind of yours too? Don't think so, Robin. Sorry. Let's go over here to... Uh... Let's go over here to uh, Molly. I've got some news you'll be pretty excited to hear. Elimination Chamber is coming up. The winner of the Chamber will earn a title match for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Okay. I told you I'd find the right opportunity for you to not only chase the title, but make a real impact. And this is it. Want to hear the details? A chance for the title? Of course I want the details. As you know, six competitors go into the chamber. Bailey has already qualified, but there's going to be a series of qualifying matches to determine the five other spots. You're in the first one. Don't let me down. Thank you, Molly. I won't. All right, so we got a target on your back. And we, folks, are going to qualify for the elimination chamber here, or LJ is, rather. Why don't they get rid of that flippin' loading screen? Can't wait to win to qualify a match tonight. I call it my elimination chamber warm-up. Dewdrop won't see me coming. Uh-oh. So I got to qualify for with Dewdrop and she is the champion. I, I don't understand. I saw you coming. What? Someone's been a little too snarky for her own good on social media. I don't like it. You think you have what it takes to earn a SmackDown Women's Championship match with me at WrestleMania? I do. My eyes are on the SmackDown Women's Championship. Too bad the SmackDown Women's Championship is on me. Don't think that just because I'm working with your aunt, I'll take it easy on you. Okay. I forgot that, uh... I forgot that, uh... Okay, okay, got it. Yeah, but I forgot the dewdrop was being managed by, uh... Uh by Justine. So it looks like uh, LJ will not be facing her. She'll be facing Lacey Evans. Should be pretty easy. Then again, I might underestimate... Uh, Lacey Evans, I might underestimate her. Justine's niece continues to chart her own path in WWE, and tonight she'll look to take a big step toward her first elimination chamber match in this qualifying match. It won't be easy, though, not with Lacey Evans standing in her way. Here's what I'm wondering. Can Ava Moreno's partner win on her own, or has she always been the weaker link? We're about to find out. Oh, 
steer clear of that. One arm hooked. Face buster. Chuck block. Brilliant. Right to the back. Hey, I underestimated Lacey Evans here. Lacey, what do you got? That could produce a dislocation at the very least, a pinched nerve. Irish whip into the corner, and she's got Lacey Evans on the defensive. Blows like those can make a difference in this match. Is that Dewdrop? Oh, What's no. The SmackDown Women's Champion doing out here? Could be about a certain prediction on social media earlier. Lacey's using it what? to advantage with a quick roll up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Evans has qualified for the elimination chamber, and her opponent is not happy. Which seems to what? be exactly what Dewdrop wanted. You have got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, that was horrible. That was horrible, folks. LJ just got screwed. LJ got screwed. Lacey Evans has qualified for an elimination chamber match. What happened? What would have happened? Wait, wouldn't have happened that way without the unfair interference of dewdrop it's not my fault you're so easily distracted uh, let's talk to molly here tough break out there kid tough break dewdrop robbed me of my opportunity what would you want me to do have you watched the product wwe management can hardly ever keep people out of matches and nobody broke any rules Besides, heard you were poking the bear a little bit on social media. The bear being Dewdrop. I'm just supposed to keep quiet and not want the SmackDown Women's Championship? No, but keep in mind that you're not the only one trying to get ahead. No need to put a target on your back. Anyway, Dewdrop's made her point now. Hopefully, she'll stay out of your way. Because management's decided that while Dewdrop's interference was legal, it is also enough reason to give you another shot. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. You'll get another opportunity to qualify for a chamber spot next week in a fatal four-way. All right, a fatal four-way. Okay, all right. Now I got to talk to Justine. Want to tell me what that was all about? What do you mean? My client had an issue with another WWE superstar who called her out on social media, and my client decided to make that issue known. Justine, come on. It's me. Okay, listen. I meant what I said about keeping our personal relationship separate from business. But I also didn't tell Dewdrop to interfere in your qualifying match. Not that I could have stopped her if I wanted to. You could have done something, Justine. What? What am I supposed to do to stop the SmackDown Women's Champion? You know, the one who likes to solve problems with her fists? Keep your head down and Dewdrop will back off. 
Okay, keep your head down and do drop or back off. Okay, Justine, you just became a suspect in what I'd like to call the DTA club, the Don't Trust Anyone club. I don't trust Justine, I really don't. Uh, I think she's out to get LJ. Folks, what do you think? We're going to put this as a short episode. We will come at you in that fatal four way coming at you in the next episode, folks. If you're new, scratch the claw marks on the bottom right and go to your screen. Remember the Wolfpack fam today, slipping by the end of the bell icon, become part of the Vacation Squad. Do not forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. Remember, always stay hungry. Hungry like the Wolf Wolfman Lewis. Ow! Ah! And ow!